In 2016, Mark Griffin bought and remodeled Griff's Bar and Billiards. There's seating everywhere. These things are probably 90 years old. We have more of those mirrors, I think, than anybody in the world. This is my seventh pool room. It's just a nice touch, you know, lucky seven. Well, we'll see. Our footprint's about 10,500 feet. We have 26 pool tables. It's probably the nicest room in the country. And while Mark focused on the billiard room, he needed someone to run the bar and kitchen. Mark and I have been acquaintances for quite a few years. I need some uh, pepper and cheese packets, please. He had a very deep kitchen background, and I have zero kitchen background. And for the first few years, Griffs started counting the money. Took off real fast. In the first year and the second year, the third year picked up, the fourth year picked up 30%, 40%. The fifth year picked up 70%. But Griff's run was cut short when the global pandemic forced them to close their doors. We were closed three times and the total days we were closed was 59. And to make matters worse, Mark had a major health scare as well. In 2015, I was fortunate enough to get a double lung transplant and I had COVID. They air vac me from Las Vegas to Phoenix. I just about checked out at that hospital, you know. Once city restrictions were lifted, Griff's reopened, but with Mark largely absent as he recovered from COVID-19, Gary struggled to run Griff's alone. Um, I think lately we've been overscheduled quite a bit. But when Mark returned to the business, he felt that Gary had not stepped up in his absence. I don't care what it's projected. What I care about is what is reality. All relationships have ups and downs. Sometimes we have a tendency to argue rather than discuss. He's hard to get along with the other employees and he's their supervisor. I think I'm a great boss. I don't think Gary is the best manager. And Gary grew increasingly more disruptive as he felt more and more undervalued. I don't know, Somebody, somebody's doing something right. I agree. It, you know, but it, obviously it's somebody besides me. You know, it's, I'm just I didn't saying. say that. Well, so, you know. he's got to lose the argumentative tone when you're trying to have a discussion. Now, with Mark and Gary unable to work together, Griffs is failing to recover from their pandemic losses and is in danger of closing down for good. We're pretty proud of what we've done for Griffs. 100%. And, um, you know, everything's at stake. So before Mark sinks any more money, he's agreed to pull back the doors, bust open the books, and make a call for help to Bar Rescue. Gary has the knowledge to do what he needs to do. Hi, this is John Taffer. Click here to subscribe to Paramount Network on YouTube for more Bar Rescue.